What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Gigi here. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's reading. Um, I am, I have a quick announcement before I get started. I Coming up Friday night, I'm going to be talking about something that is going to be live hopefully tomorrow on my website. I've been talking about it on and off um, and I finally decided to do it because next week is my last week of school for 18 days. So I'm going to have some free time on my hands. So I'm putting up for uh putting up the availability on my website for personal readings so that will be live either tomorrow uh, between now and friday and i will talk more about it in my friday live at 7 p.m pacific standard time so if you're interested in personal readings just come check out the uh the live and i'll talk about it there um we're going to get into a collective energy reading for tonight it is july 19th 2022 we're going to see what spirit has for us uh, this is a collective energy read, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, place yourself in the reading where you belong, please and thank you, flip it, switch it, reverse it, do what you need to do to do that, just that, place yourself in the reading where you belong, okay? And for those of you who are just coming across my channel, um, I do things a little bit differently here. I am able to pick up on energies and see kind of a, a bird's eye kind of a view. I, in my head, I have a crystal ball. So we're going to get involved and uh, we're going to get involved with the cards and see what happens. Let's get involved. Let's get involved in this energy. Okay, let's get the sage and let's get going. Holy Spirit, please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me through this energy reading today. Holy Spirit, please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for the collective, and please cast all evil and darkness that may be lingering away and back to where it came from, please and thank you. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's see what the Zodiac energy is for tonight's reading. One more, please, Spirit. Thank you. Let's get all the way through the deck, see if there's anything else. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have Venus for Taurus and Libra. We have Uranus for Aquarius. We have Saturn for it's Capricorn, I thought, so I just wanted to double check. And what do we got here? We got the Moon for Cancer. We're coming up on the end of Cancer season, so we have, what is this, Libra and Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, and we have Earth, Air, and Water. So, okay. We have the new deck, which is the Energy Oracle. Let's start there. No, you want Divine Guidance first. Okay, Divine Guidance wants to come out first. It's got some messages it has to tell us. So let's see what's crack a for our collective energy tonight. I wasn't going to do a reading tonight because I've got a test in the morning, but my brain is mush and I was given specific homework tonight to decompress and do some self-care. And for me, this is decompression. So this is the start of my self-care and my homework. So let's see what the collective energy got going on tonight. This, this full moon, in, uh, what was it in Capricorn? Yeah, this super moon in Capricorn, this has been an interesting one. This is my second um, Cancer and Leo, or this is like, I'm basically hitting my, now this, I'm going into the second time I've experienced, experienced some of these moon phases and some of these moon alignments and placements, and um, I'm definitely seeing that this is definitely an interesting one. So let's see what Divine Guidance has for us. Let's see. Call your power back and hold on to it tightly, okay? Pregnancy, ooh, shit. We're going to keep those together. These three came out first. One, two, three, two, three separate situations? Okay, three separate situations. Call your power back and hold on to it tightly. You, do you see the cha change finally or are you still blind? pregnancy trap okay masculine you had your heart broken an ego trip led you to a heartbreak
And the thing is, is I'm being shown somebody like their eyes being opened. Light bulb moment. Putting two and two together. There's something there. The heartbreak is what he keeps cycling back to. The heartbreak, the heartbreak, the heartbreak. What was with the pregnancy trap? He's saying, I thought I could get you pregnant, whoever you is. trap you and basically have you as your his in prisoner he wants to he wanted it to imprison you with a trap and since somebody was okay and whoever the you is collective I believe that's you you called your power back and he's feeling it now he the, the our eyes being open is that he actually did give a shit He did barely got two nickels to rub to, together. Poor financial management. Realizing he could have had the world with you, but because his mind was not in the right place, ego death, cut off, embarrassment. Shuffle these again. Okay. Whoa. He's thinking of ways to fix this. Yes. Because he wants this kind of relationship with you. He must, you must have, collective, if this is your story, if you called your power back from whoever this masculine is, there's a separation there, okay? Whoever this masculine is that kind of casted you away and just kind of went off to go with their unrealistic expectations and all of the went off to go find their unrealistic expectations, excuse me, um, is trying to come up with a plan on how to get their money right to go and be able to do the things that they want to do with you. They want to start proving and showing some actions because they see you as their complete happiness got the sun the moon that's leo energy right there indecision that heartbreak and ego death caused them to be stuck between a rock and a hard place they didn't know what they didn't know how to act they were extraordinarily childish and now something that light bulb moment that i've been talking about yeah it's causing them to sit down and strategize a plan on how to fix all of this because you are their sunshine their one and only sunshine you make them happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much he loves you so please don't take your sunshine away and the thing is is he wants to be able to come in and do it right see he wants to open up that door to romance he wants to go forward and make actions he doesn't want to be stuck in the in-between anymore he sees you as the woman holding his heart you are his happiness you are his everything he didn't realize it. He was too busy being childish. Yep. Yep. He didn't realize. He, he didn't want to realize. But that light bulb moment happened. And now he's strategizing. Yep. He wants to make an action. He wants to do it big. And he's got to get his shit in a, in a pile for it. Okay, what else we got, Spirit? What do you got for me? He's weighing out his options.
Yeah, he's con he's right now he's burdened. It may he may very well be depressed. He's trying to weigh out his options. I want to double check this. I it, there he wants to make the right moves. Okay. He wants to make the, take the right actions. He wants to do it maturely. He wants to do it where there's some kind of substance to it. There's, you know, he doesn't want to come to you with nothing. He wants to come to you with a plan. He wants to come to you with an open heart. He needs you to unlock that door. You see how the heart... There we go. You see how the heart... Whoa! Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. You see how the, the heart is in the cage and it's got a... A, a lock hole here a keyhole excuse me right there and all the hearts around it and he's opening the door he he's got you the key is right there on the side he he wants to open up his heart to you he wants you to go in and dig deep around and he wants you to find that key and unlock it and and turn that iceberg of a heart that he has into something that has just been destroyed over so many heartbreaks and ego deaths and all different kinds of things the thing is is what i feel here about this one is that you've always had held his heart always you were always the one that was able to un to open up those doors and break down those walls and barricades and you were able to find that key and unlock the door you had the key to his heart he wants to celebrate with you. He wants to be able to do all the things. He doesn't want to sit here feeling like this no more. He's he's sitting out here weighing out his options. He's 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 trying to weigh out his options here. He's probably up all night trying to figure out what's going on in his head. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to read it verbatim, okay? First, it says victory. This card indicates success and in public acknowledge of the achievement. Whether you give your best effort, skill, and de dedication to will, uh, excuse me, whatever you give your best efforts, skill, and dedication to will accumulate with pride and accolades. Victories rarely occur in a vacuum. Others are holding up their wands until unity and w in unity to show their participation and support of your efforts. The recognition is yours, but you didn't earn it alone. Be humble and don't accept attention as don't expect attention as a given. Show appreciation for those who supported you and continue to stand with you. Look, if you have a friend that's been there from from the beginning to now to the moment that you decide to get up and make those actions move do that have that movement happen do the work you need to do possibly in your finances possibly learning how to strategize and and do things maturely the you know the person who was there when you were in the darkness and not sleeping at night and depressed and all of those things thinking about her that helped you pick the pick the uh, the route the route that was going to lead you to your happiness with the person that you have this wanting this caring connection with the one you want to allow to open up the door to your heart. If they were there and they were supportive of you and giving you advice, you might want to be extraordinarily grateful to this person and hold them in very high honor because this person may very well be leading you to your happily ever after. Okay? I'm going to go through this one one more time. see if there's anything further for this this message because there's two more I want to get to a tower you may very well have had to go through that tower and that, that ego death because of an ego trip that you went on you may have had to learn from this tower that opened your eyes and that tower was because somebody called back their energy they called back their power and they're holding on to it tightly and it had to teach you a lesson about not taking people for granted and it had to open your eyes about how much this person really loved you get you from being a page with your money to somebody that's a little bit more you know responsible you have the opportunity to improve it's one thing to have a skill it's another thing to entire entirely to master a skill taking an ability to the next level requires requires a commitment to practicing a few to practice that few choose to make however with while practicing can feel boring to people 
uh, boring to people dedicated to improving it isn't because they have a passion for the craft itself each tiny bit of improvement is an accomplishment and I feel like this right now is going towards your finances and making a plan about all of this if you sat down let's just say this for example okay last week you barely had money to get through the week you barely had a for could afford to you know buy your week's worth of groceries had enough money to put gas in your car and you're like where did my money go and you know you got paid on Friday and by Monday morning you had no money okay and you decided Monday morning when you're like, okay, I went through, I blew through all this on the weekends. I don't have shit to show for it. What can I do? And you sat down and you strategized. You used that journal log and you call, and you sat down and you're like, okay, my rent or mortgage pay, costs this much. My utilities cost this much. My uh, food budget costs, I, I, I need this much for food every month. I need this and I need this and I need this. And you sat down and in that log, you wrote it all down and made a plan. And, you know, you went through the week and you're like looking at this plan. All right, can I do this? I can do this. I can do this. And then Friday, you sit down with your little envelopes. You took out, you know, you took out the money you needed. You placed money where it needed to go. And you took out your cash and you're like, okay, this goes into my rent. This goes into my electric. This goes into my food for the week. This goes. And you sat down and you stay and you pulled the, from the envelopes that you needed. And once you were done with that, that was it. And you didn't spend any more. You know, that like that's a huge step going from being a page to working your way up to being the king of coins because a king of coins yes they may like luxurious things however they're smart about it they're frugal they budget for it they do the right thing and the thing is is if you're blowing money and blowing money and you want to do some kind of grand gesture for your woman to kind of make up for whatever it was that happened between you you need to continue to do this. You need to save. You need to budget it in. If say, We'll just use this as an example. You found a, a diamond ring you want to put on that beautiful hand of hers. And we'll say it costs $3,500 or $4,500 or however much it is. Okay. And you can put like, we'll say, just saying, this. I'm just throwing this out there. You can put $1,000 a month towards it. That would You can split it up if you get paid weekly. Break it up weekly. If you can pay, uh, break it up bi-weekly, do what you got to do. Okay. But stick to the budget. What you do things 20 to 21 days consecutively, it forms a habit. Okay? So just remember, if, you, if I'm just using that as an example because I'm feeling like somebody's finances is holding them back from making a grand gesture. Okay? And it has them up at night worrying about it. Because they, they have it in their heart. They want that door, that key to, to, uh, that unlocks their heart. They want their woman that's holding their heart in their hands. It's just money. Okay? So that, for whoever this first pile is for, that is your story. That If this is your story, that is my advice to you. If this is what's holding you back from making the grand gesture for your person, then this is the thing that Spirit needs you to work on right now to get your wish fulfillment started you need to get the ball rolling and it may very well start with this so get it right get it tight with your finances my friend okay i guess we're doing the new style of reading tonight instead of yesterday so we're gonna leave this here no you can i pull the tarot do you want me to pull the other cards no do you want me to pull these okay just the tarot okay we're gonna put the pull the tarot because that's the story that needs to be told for these these can stay here Okay. Okay. Are we using this deck, this next part? You want angels and ancestors? No, divine feminine. Okay. Okay. So, are we doing this one first? We're doing this one first. Okay. And we're going to use divine feminine. <clears throat> Okay, this is what I'm getting from this one. There is a feminine, a divine feminine, that has a very pure heart full of light, huge compassionate heart, would be there for anybody through it all, that is very much the beacon of light and all, all the darkness that surrounds the people she cares about the most, okay? She has been burned. She's been heartbroken. She's been manipulated. She's gone through it all. Okay. 
and the thing is is what allows what she, what radiates the most light is that she's able to forgive even when she doesn't truly want to she's able to do it because she knows that's what the most high expects of her if she wants to ever be forgiven she knows deep down in her heart she has to give forgiveness even to the people that have had many chances and failed miserably to bring her to the darkness. Those people that have broken her heart, made her miserable, hurt her and did all of the things and just the using and manipulation and all of that. She is e easily able to say, I understand you are a human being. You have had trauma. You have been emotionally damaged. It's okay. I forgive you. If I want the most high to forgive me, I can as a human being forgive you because the thing is is I really truly believe that this feminine wants to claim I'm being shown possibly her halo or her angel wings or just to be a part of the, the purest white light when she leaves here she wants to ascend she does not want to come back and she does not want to burn there is one man that lingers in her heart that that may need to have there's that that one masculine that may need to have some kind of conclusion or closure to be able to allow her peace purity in her life with no energetic manipulation no tantric pulls in different can different areas Something needs to be released. Burdens need to be released. Heartbreaks need to be healed and closed out. Those cycles need to be over. A cord needs to be cut. Okay. Something about that one is like almost making me like feel like I'm about to break out in a cold sweat. So I'm not sure what's going on there. All right. What is the energy for this portion of the reading? What do we got, Spirit? What Divine Feminine has something to say? call my power back from all times and all places I am my own I am blessed my courage gives birth to the divine I love this she is my favorite one I think the one that lingers in her heart she's called back pretty much all her power on the nose big time but there's still something there that lingers love hope no just love and it's a very special kind of romantic love one of which unites the tie the soul tie possibly to her twin there was some lies there was some deception that needs healing so that she can move on and complete something possibly birth a new generation on the nose big time that will help complete complete this I'm being shown the circle the family circle it will, oh, excuse me, it will heal the family unit, the family tree, the circle, the, it'll heal something about the family. This one child will heal a family tie, a family unit, a family circle, something about a circle. It'll complete the circle, it'll complete the, yeah. She may give birth to somebody that's extraordinarily special. She may give birth to an earth, an earth angel. She
you may be passing on a legacy of light through this child. A, somebody that will light up the world. The lion's green eyes are staring at me. It's crazy. Something needs to heal. Somebody needs to come forward. She's saying, no, no, not me. I've got to keep myself focused, dedicated and driven, disciplined. I don't have time for that. Just focus, trying to forge forward. Keep the nose to the grindstone and just keep boots on the ground and just keep trucking forward. It's like an uphill battle and she's got a good pace and she's 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 got boots on ground and she's got a big old pack on her back and I'm seeing somebody going through what looks like, I don't know, the apocalypse of some sort. <laughs> It looks like warfare all around her and she's just strong and driven and fo focused on going forward. Plowing through whatever it is, nothing's hitting her. She is severely protected. The, the most high, the angels, the ancestors are protecting her from like literal Armageddon, Armageddon excuse me, around her. And just keeps, she keeps driving forward, uphill, downhill, all over the place. She's just going straight on this path and she is not letting anything come between her. She's got things to do. She's got people to help. She's got situations uh, and things that she needs to face and challenges she needs to face to continue to bring her closer and closer. Because if you see here on the Mary of Nazareth card, she's got the beautiful light behind her. I don't know if you can see the wings. They're very faint. You see the wings there? Yeah. She may be earning her wings. I don't know. Purifying her heart completely calling back all her power from all of those people that have taken from her energetically and building up herself in such a way that when she has completed whatever this challenge is has fought through whatever this war is she's able to going to be able to stand at the finish line and say you know what I fucking did it and there's nobody that I can thank more than myself and the most high God for getting me through some of the most difficult things a human can experience. She's going to earn that freaking ascension and there's not thing one anybody can do about it. She's got goals. She's got things to do and she's going to achieve them on the nose big time. Possibly break all different kinds of challenges that have surrounded her family. That's why I keep saying like the family circle, the things that keep happening, that people keep going around in circles in her family and haven't been able to break free of it, she's going to be the one that breaks free and this could very well be what lead that her having whatever this child, whoever this child is will break that complete cycle for good and it will never happen again. Like there is no way. There's going to be some serious changes and it's going to be because of this woman. Parents are going to see family, possibly children, parents, siblings, friends from all over the place. People are going to see it. And when they see her and see her as this beacon of light, they're going to be so mind blown. They're not going to have any idea what to say or what to do. They're going to be like, I cannot believe it. And it's all going to be earned. It's all going to be earned and not given. What do you got for this one, Spirit? Thank you. I'm going to put that one in the middle upside down. Okay. Okay. 
I'm being told to take this as this is the energy of people coming towards her. They don't want to see her succeed. They want to see her lose all her power. Here's the thing. Excuse me. Let me take that back. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so sorry. People saw her light. They didn't like it. It scared the shit out of them. They talked down to her. They manipulated her mind. They tried everything they could to kick her out of her empress status. They made her feel miserable, put her in depression, made her cry, made her second guess herself, and all of those things. So she couldn't... She was being held back and repressed so much by people's foul mouths, dirty talk to her face, behind her, behind her back, and all of it. Every nasty, low vibrational energy that could go towards this woman may very well have gone towards this woman. Violence and cheating and disloyalty in all sorts of ways. That they tried to boot her off her throne and that is why she called back all her power she called back all her power she may be calling back all her power or she may very well be getting ready to call back all her power and get step fully into her empress status i'm telling you this woman is literally with a big it looks like somebody's got maybe a baby on their back and a carrier and they're walking through what looks like fire and brimstone armageddon all around them and nothing's hitting them and she's just driving forward to try to save herself and possibly a child she's gonna earn this right now she may be fighting through some things okay possibly dealing with some like issues with holding you know back a little bit from certain things let me I want to see which what this exactly is I'm sorry I'm just She's okay. Now I understand why I was saying she's holding back. She's being held back. She's being held back. The thoughts of these people in the past for this person, like she wanted to be loved. She may have come from a very tough upbringing because of the fact that she was always the light in all of the darkness. She was the one that radiated the smiles and the happiness and brought ha light and happiness into everybody's life that she was around. People didn't like that put her down, called her names, picked on her, bullied her, brought her down, brought her down, and it literally got to the point where she was very much seeking social acceptance just to have somewhere to fit in, okay? And because of her needing to seek, you know, feeling like she needed to seek everybody's approval, it took her out of that position of light, maybe for a moment, and then she had a light bulb moment and realized that she needed to put, push forward and do something different. And it required her to call back all of her power. All of it. Learn how to watch her mouth. Learn how to, you know, speak kindly. Learn how to treat people with respect and do things just for the sake of doing them and not because she expected anything in return. To not seek for social acceptance. To, to love herself for who she was and do what was right for her. She had to step... I feel like this here, all of the tarot that's coming out, is what brought her to get her to this point. To the, get her to the point of going and getting her power back from every person, every place, and every time that anybody has ever hurt her or done something to take any bit of her power away from her. Mm-hmm. Yep. Too many people playing games. Hurtful criticism. Yeah. it's exactly what I was saying. Exactly what I was saying. Yep. It caused major confusion. It caused self-esteem issues. It caused her a whole lot of trouble and grief. And it literally took certain things falling into place. Being shown people being shown having people show you their true authentic selves can sometimes give you that light bulb effect people like this who take people for granted because they were too emotionally immature hurting somebody that could very well this could be the other half of this this could be the woman holding the heart of this masculine i mean we see that they're calling their power back from all places and all times and this one had their the, the the tower falling because this person could very well be the person that called their power back from this one
the soul connection here would make sense as to why I'm picking up on it like this. She had to go through hell in a fucking handbasket to get her to where she was able to stand her ground, put her freaking empress crown on, and say enough is enough. She had to call her pow power back, call her power back from people like this that have unrealistic expectations of certain things. Getting being sick and tired of being hurt just because other people were feeling low about themselves. She deserves to sit there and, and sit and admire her garden and harvest from it for all the work she's done being a beacon of light for all the people that were in darkness. It's time that she deserves to sit back, kick her feet up, sit, soak in a bubble bath with a glass of wine if she so damn well chooses or a blunt or whatever it is you do to get down and chill. She deserves to do that instead of sitting here like having people steal all her energy and she feels miserable and she's crying all the time and not taking care of herself because she feels so depressed and out of it and her self-confidence is at, at, at a low no she doesn't deserve all that no and that is why spirit is saying this woman has had this one had a light bulb moment possibly before this one a long while before this one this one had to go through some peaks and valleys and have some towers fall on their head to be able to wake up and see the reality of things this one caught one little glimpse of the light and was like okay i realize where i was where i'm supposed to be going realizing that she's always been this way it's just there were too much there was too much darkness surrounding her light people were just draining her and there were too many energy vampires around her Does this one eat, Matt, come with this all? It'll tie it all up. Okay, do you want me to pull these cards back? All right. Okay. So this is the divine feminine of this story. She had to go through hell in a handbasket to be able to get her where she is now, calling her power back from all the people that have ever hurt her. To be able to stand in her power with her Wonder Woman cape on her, no, her Divine Feminine cape on, hands on her hips like at the top of a mountain, flowing, like she looks like Wonder Woman. Just like, dun da 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 I've stepped in my power, I have boundaries! And I'm standing in them. And there's not thing one that you can do to have me step out of them. So come correct, or don't come at all. That, that's like this one. All right. For this final one, let's see, this is going to tie it up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is her. This one here. This one's a soulmate. This one is somebody that will make her weak in the knees, swoon, hearts and rainbows all over the place, like happily ever after, like a nine out of a ten, nine and a half out of a ten, like nine and three quarters out of a ten, but there's just something missing, okay? This one here could pretty much give it her all except for freedom to do what? Live up to the expectations the most high want of her. And the reasons why, it's not because he wants to hold her back, but he wants all of her attention all the time. So much so that she has, not that she would want anything less, because the moment she's in his energy space, there's a veil of hearts and rainbows and just happy all over the place that nothing else matters. She would work herself to the bone without a single care in the world, without feeling like she's doing it just, you know, because she has to, but she would work herself to the bone because she wanted to for this man, okay? However, it's, it's not like an entrapment, but the thing is, is she would be so clouded with hearts and rainbows that whatever it is the Most High has for her to do, she'd be veered off that path. She'd like, here's the path, and she'd be parallel to it over here in the pink zone, hearts and rainbows and happy happies. You know, all the happy, sexy, sexy time, good conversation, loves and abundance and good friendship and all of that here. But there's just that sliver, that 0.25%. That 
there, that 25, that, that whatever, that 0.25 right there that would bring it to a solid 10 out of 10 is that just that bit of freedom to say, if you have something you need to do, if it's starting a business, going and getting this position at work, going back to school and getting X, Y, and Z done, this person would be the, the plow behind this woman and literally scooping her up and doing everything he could to push her to do it. Even if it meant her traveling and going to school and focusing and locking herself in her room and doing whatever it is she needs to do, whether it's studying, whether it's working on business plans, whether it's, you know, doing paperwork or whatever it is she needs to do, this man would give her the freedom to not be up her ass, to be able to do things on his own, to be able to do it. And that's why this this one here is her well not only do they share a soul this one's the twin this one would balance her out in every single last aspect the sex is good the conversation is good the relationship is good they support and motivate each other they have their own sense of independence every it is like the picture perfect situation now this person, whoever this feminine's other half is, was a fucking coward. Who saw an easy, I don't have to do a single thing, I wouldn't have to change a single thing about me, I can be over here, and he chose the wrong one because he's too much of a coward and couldn't face what was going on deep, deep, deep down inside. He allowed the devil to penetrate the cracks that were in his divine armor. Okay? He may have, there is a separation, they separated. That separation was this light bulb moment to this one. Okay. This one had a light bulb moment and it brought her to going and getting her shit together. Calling back her power and bossing up. I, yes, I do look this good since she walked away. It freed me so I could boss up. Because of his cowardice. Because of the fact that he made took the easy way out. He allowed the devil to just take over his life. She came up in the world in different ways and is now glowing brighter than the sun or is working toward glowing brighter than the sun so that's the storyline here that's the that's the baseline for this one is that he, this masculine allowed the devil to penetrate the cracks and allowed the easy way out to take over his life and he freed his empress and she's bossing up or bossed up or is about to boss up take it how it is you know what to do okay and it may be driving send your soulmate over here to doing the right damn thing okay the angels and the ancestors have something to say so let's see what it is I'm being I see somebody going like this shame on you shame on you this should teach this is gonna hurt this is gonna be hurtful no the hurtfulness competition trying to put two people against each other what can you do for me how can you be can you be better than her or using each other against using one to get uh, using this one to go you know saying oh this one did this for me and look 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 and and then he tried to do the same thing with her and she kind of chuckled and then like okay and if you want it that bad go over there kind of deal like what the fuck are you doing over here bugging me if you're going to sit over here and choose this one like that's the kind of energy i'm picking up on he tried to use the two to compete against each other to see who would give him more attention especially if he wasn't getting what he wanted very manipulative energy very manipulative energy shame on you is right for doing that grow within your current situation well if you chose the wrong one you may want to grow within that situation and learn how to deal with it because now you're in a karmic situation to learn some lessons while boo boo over here yeah miss thing miss empress over here is bossing up and glowing up and doing all the things that are going to sit there sit that you have you sit in there with your jaw on the deck trying to figure out what to say because you don't know what to do like i was saying this one is going to come up and shine so brightly that those that have hurt her just like this energy are going to be like stunned and not have a fucking thing to say because they're going to be like, uh, 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 how did this happen? 
this person was like this for so long how did this happen and he's going to be one of them so you may want to oh look i'm going to take that travel in a new direction start uh, opening your eyes and seeing that um what you did is the reason this one had a light bulb moment Yep, you chose your direction, and it was towards the wrong one. Yep, you cho you moved in a new direction. You chose your path, and it was the wrong one. Now you're going to have to learn from it. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Trust and thrive. Who is this? There's an ancestor. Is this right, Spirit? Yes. That was trying to guide this pet masculine and the feminine. Just the masculine. Yes. But he didn't, he wasn't paying attention. He was too busy playing freaking games. partying and bullshit in like I said he was trying to put the two in competition with each other he might have got caught up in it if he would have trusted his ancestors trust the process had a little faith he would have thrived he would have been able to enjoy growth and reap rewards of this person's good uh, of good deeds reap the rewards of what's happening with this person as she bosses up and getting to see her in a whole new light he missed out and it's going to teach him some th this karma is going to turn him into a very wise person he could have been basking in joy and light this summer if or whatever in this i'm feeling like it's this summer if he would have listened Instead, I see him working himself to death, possibly drinking. Is he eating healthy? Eh. Trying to do something because his face is aging and he doesn't look so good. It's all because the feminine is eating right, taking care of herself, loving herself, doing the right thing, and, you know, being true to themselves. Real, being, you know, possibly could be with a soul, another soulmate, somebody that, you know, is level. Somebody that is on, will, is willing to meet her more than halfway. That's willing to do and help and be there and be kind and be compassionate. Whether it's this person, I don't feel like it's this person. She just may have a lot of really good people in her life or a very small amount of really good people in her life that are just her soul tribe. That keep things balanced for her. That keep her driven and focused. She's got her soul team with her right now while you get to learn the lessons in which you have to learn to be able to grow in your current situation. Learn how to figure, to, uh, learn how to go in a new direction that's not going to lead you to a sea witch or another vicious karmic cycle. This is all happening and these challenges are coming at you for a reason and it's to help you get on a new path or stay on the one that you, you're currently on. I mean, it's up to you. You can either choose to go in a new way, new direction, change your path, or and so you can tr learn to trust or be trusted and you can thrive with people. You can enjoy, you know, the joy and light of life and reap, you know, you know, the rewards of your hard work instead of just slaving yourself into an early grave with a stroke or a heart attack or some kind of something because you're working yourself to death. Over because you're trying to keep, you know, what are you seeking acceptance for? If you have self-esteem issues, you need to work on that. And it's not going to be by eating crap food and drinking and gambling and going to the strip club.
loneliness is only, I mean, you're never alone, for sure. You're never alone. The thing is, is you may not have spirit in your heart because the devil took over. There's the moon again. Your light is gone off doing her own thing. You need to be the light for yourself. You can't go back and you're not. See, what was I saying? You're not alone. Spirit needs you to take this time to stop worrying about going and, and seeking out hoochies and gambling and partying and bullshitting and, and doing and working yourself to death. Spirit wants you to get in, in order. If you have a dream of happiness and a happy family and all of that or just whatever it is, it's going to take you being, getting out of this and doing something about it. Stop allowing the, the devil to take over your, your life because you're seeking social acceptance for God only knows what. You know, people have reasons for everything and I'm learning more and more about this every day. Um, you know, it... <sighs> There are th people that need to that need to seek acceptance, power, and a bunch of different things because of things that have happened in their life. They need to have control somehow, and I feel like this person is emotionally damaged to the tenth degree, and they have got so much that they need to heal. The thing is, is they're afraid of healing, which is why they keep making the wrong fucking choices, which is why they keep letting the devil into their divine armor. And breaking them down and pushing them further and further away from the light. They may be getting intuitive messages. The one that's saying shame on you for doing all this has been trying to say, send you intuitive messages, maybe through this person over here, maybe through your dreams, maybe through other people. Whatever the case may be, maybe through readers like myself, okay? Possibly you're afraid of what these intuitive, of, of an intuitive message, a premonition or a whatever, and you're afraid to, to trust your, your talents, of your intuition in these changing times. And the only reason they're changing is because you are walking headfirst into tower moments because you refuse to move in a new direction and choose a different path. You keep making the wrong choices. You're not taking this time to realize that you are not alone, that you have a guardian angel and ancestors that want to lead you, okay, and help you grow within your current situation. If your mind is closed and shut off from, from anything like this, you may want to start thinking about, you know, getting yourself in, look into your sun, moon, and rising sign. Somebody may very well need to get figure themselves out in a new way and maybe seek an actual, I'm not a psychologist yet, I'm working on it. You may want to go seek a therapist and sit down and talk to a non-biased party. Somebody that's an outsider that can look in and see things from a, a different perspective and maybe help you get out of some kind of, nar the, what I feel may be some um, learned narcissistic behaviors. Especially because if I'm seeing that you're trying to get two people to compete against each other, whether they knowingly are doing it or not, or if you're saying, oh, look what this person bought me, like you have, I don't know, like I'm seeing somebody going like this to like a watch or a bracelet or something on their arm, and they're like, oh, look what this person got me, and, they're, and I just see somebody like, okay, and that's wonderful, why are you telling me this? I see somebody showing a picture and it's like, okay, why are you showing me this? You're saying I'm this person to you. You're saying I'm this person to you. Why are you doing this? If you want this person that badly, why are you doing this? Why don't you go be with them? You're looking for a reaction. You're looking for, you're seeking a negative attention. Is that all the attention you ever got when you were a child was negative attention? And that's what you seek in people because you're just, that's all you know and understand. 54.54 on the timer. You are going to lose out on your complete wish fulfillment because of your childishness. And you may lose it to a soulmate. 
or a soul tribe. I'm being told more likely than not to a soul tribe. Because this person wants to sort of the moon and there's not thing one anybody's going to do about it because they want to go through life walking, pushing through challenges and, and standing up and being strong and not letting anything, anything bring them down. While well, you take whatever time you have left here to get yourself in some kind of new direction that's not going to take you too soon so you can learn what you need to learn and possibly get an opportunity to ascend, if not come back here. And if you stay this dark and evil and in so much devil energy that you may, it may be worse off than having to recycle again, then that's between you and spirit, not me. I'm just the one reading the cards. You may want to do this gracefully. You may want to do some things and maybe just, this could very well be that soul that, 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 I don't know. There's something this person needs closure on and this may very well be it. Or it may be this. I don't know. However it is for you. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. This one was released for the most part. Yes. Eh enough to where it's like not even a thought on our mind every day maybe like once a week like oh how's this person doing is he still alive is he above ground breathing good it's this one it's because there was lies there was deception there was uh you know being pushed again put against another person trying to you know make somebody feel bad or you know break somebody's self-esteem and their self-confidence there's something here that needs to be done. There's some healing that needs to be done, and it needs to be done gracefully. Yeah, there's a tower. I picked it up right on tower, and underneath is the Page of Cups, and this guy right here. Yeah, they did not listen to their um, to their person, the their spirit person, whether it's an ancestor or an angel or the Most High. They didn't listen, and it took them off their path. They were supposed to. They may have been like this close but they just they fucked up too much and spirit saw it all spirit saw it all and watched and is like okay now you get the big brown boot up your ass i saw you being sneaky and conniving with trying to put two people against each other did he do it on the other side too on the nose big time even more so than what he did to the divine feminine oh he's gonna have a tower if he hasn't had one already because he was childish he had his mind on his money and his money on his mind and he was trying to make himself feel good. He has a big ass ego and he's got narcissistic tendencies. He, I'm, I'm, I'm really like, I'm just seeing a masculine's energy and the word above him, narcissist. Narcissistic tendencies, big ass fucking ego, spoiled, shallow, big mouth, doesn't know how to shut the hell up talking about himself this is all what spirit's showing me talks too much thinks he knows everything yeah this is definitely almost textbook narcissism possibly needing to have control and power over every situation and if he doesn't he doesn't he feels emasculated especially by a woman this is definitely learned behaviors Spirit, oh spirit, he was fucking with a, ooh, he was fucking with the wrong one, he was fucking with the queen of wands, ooh, lord, he was trying, see, this right here was trying to weigh out his options, ooh, who's she, is she going to do better for me, or is she going to do better for me, what can I do, what can I do, who can I turn against to today, he bound himself to some situations with some people with their hands out, Yep, spirit saw it all. Spirit, he got bored and he screwed up an opportunity with his twin. He was dangling between two people and he was trying to reap rewards and happiness from both of them. Trying to see who he who can he can get out of their uh, comfort zone first and push. Oh man, who won? Did the sea witch win? I'm being told no. 
sort of how separation divine feminine washed her hands of the situation and moved moved on with her life and cho like I said chose the soul tribe over this doesn't care about no twin flame situation use the twin flame journey as a learning experience to boss up so she can go have her happily ever after and harvest the benefits of her hard work not having to be in her queen of wands passion itself instead of having to deal with a conniving little sneaky little manipulative bored out of his mind and play emotionally childish brat who's bound to some karmic situations because he couldn't stop swinging between two options and he couldn't freaking figure out what he wanted. Yep. Where'd my book go? Where'd I put my book? Oh, it's right here. Be prepared. Experience has shown that there is, in this situation, trouble brewing. Very likely this is some sort of out ongoing battle or repeating issue or cycle, perhaps on the job, within a social group, or in a relationship. There is weariness in this card as if you are just tired of fighting the same fight over and over again. Unfortunately, unless something changes, it is a case of same stuff, different day. That goes specifically to this masculine. You, there's a storm blowing up a whopper and if you don't get on a new path and unbind yourself from this whatever karmic situation the one that you chose with the wrong one oh my god it's like spirit saying you, it's something's gonna break something's gonna break and it may be somebody's health it may be somebody's mental stability financial stability all different kinds of stuff while the Queen of Wands goes, gets her, her, reaps her, you know, gets the, gets to, uh, you know, reap, go and collect her harvest, have her happy, abundant family. Possibly, I mean, there's a child here. I saw this woman, tr this woman trucking up, you know, through the the freaking apocalypse with a child on her back, trying to protect this child from the darkness that is the world, and, you know, doing all the right things, and choosing the right people, and making good decisions, and continuing to be the light for other people, and continue to forgive when she doesn't, even if she thinks it's like, I'm not ready to, spirits, like, think about what you're saying, look into your heart, and find the goodness in people, and be able to accept people through the good, bad, and the ugly, and ex forgive even through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because if she doesn't, she will be brought to the darkness and it will destroy her. And everything she's worked so hard at being. Okay? Spirit saying there's more to come out of divine guidance. One more. And it's for this one. You can break the vicious cycles. Yes, you can. Don't close the door. This is your complete wish fulfillment. You, If you break this vicious cycle, if you break this chain, if you get out of this energy, this conniving little shitty energy, being manipulative, being sneaky, trying to freaking turn people against each other or use people's what people do for you against somebody else and because you're playing games, because you're bored and you just want to stir it up. Yeah, you, you can, if you choose to step away from this and break that vicious cycle, you can have your complete wish fulfillment. Spirit says, look into your heart, dig deep down and see if this is, if what the life you have is truly what you want. You're gifted in so many ways. Is this truly how you want to spend your life? Because if it is, fine. Walk away. Continue to do what you want to do. Stay in these vicious cycles. Use your gift for the wrong gifts for the wrong reason. Allow the devil to work in your life, and you can slam the sh that door shut forever. Okay, but if you can't, and if you can't stop thinking about your person, and if you can't stop thinking about oh, what's she doing now, you may want to think about uh, breaking those vicious cycles and going and figuring out yeah by coming clean about all it all, so you can finally be free by ending that vicious cycle that I've been very much talking about since I was sitting here talking about the divine feminine. Anything else? Yep, be open-minded to the impossible. Be opened up to the impossible 
actions speak louder than words and the actions that you take friend shouldn't be when it comes to uh you losing everything having those towers fall on your damn head and going back and being like oh my princess i you know i need you i want you oh i need you i want you i need your love to keep me warm you know i was i my heart is broken the tower has fallen and i don't know what else to do without you you're my person that is not when you should be speaking louder than your you know your actions shouldn't be speaking as loud as your words then if not louder you should be doing it now before that tower falls and you're not you know going with your hand out because this person may just laugh in your face and slam the door okay it's there's a time sensitivity on this and it's not it's that talk, the talk is a ticking and the ticking is a talking because if you miss it and this person actually goes and catches their dreams and fulfills whatever it is that this person is is supposed to do before you uh, pay attention and realize what you're supposed to be doing, this is exactly what it's going to look like. You're going to you see this person is successful and they're going to think that you're just there to have a handout. So you may want to continue to listen for intuitive messages, pay attention to your dreams, get out of the cowardice energy, track down your fears and your desires and figure out what's more important. Figure out what's more important. This one? Okay, this one. All right. Last little bit here and then we'll get going. Last messages, spirit, final messages. Anything final, spirit. Thank you. And like I said, when this one finally gets where she needs to go, and what was I saying? She's not going to have anybody else that she can thank besides the Most High and herself for the blessing she has because she went and caught her dreams. She's not going to allow energy vampires to come in there and pull her away from her complete wish fulfillment, reaping the, the, the harvest of her hard work, which could be a lot of money, millions it may be, maybe having just everything she's ever asked spirit for being handed to her on a, on a gold platter saying, I'm going to give you your bat, all the stars, all the medals, all the caps and gowns, all the raises, all the promotions that you could ever want and dream of. That's going to be her reward. You have spiritual protection around you. That's what these people were trying to do with these intuitive messages, these dreams, whatever it was that you were not paying attention to. That's what these swords are. They were trying to protect you. They were trying to guide you through, the, through all of these actions with truth, but you chose to lie. You chose to turn your back on that spiritual protection and think you were just all by yourself. No, 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 you weren't, sir. You had eyes all around you. And that is why either you are facing a tower or you are about to face a fucking tower. So you may want to take this message here, if you're listening, and come clean about it all so you can finally be free, set free, and either stop a tower from happening, cut it off in its tracks, or mend from it afterwards. You have a lot of gifts and a lot of things the world needs you to, to do. The thing is, is that you're not doing what spirit needs you to do. You are allowing the devil to take over your life. Open to your, your mind. If you are closed-minded and you're not like, eh, nah, 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 no, just... I would highly suggest you, you getting it right with spirit and recognizing that you are not alone. There are angels and your ancestors that are trying to help you see clearly now. Allow the fog to lift up out of that brain of yours to get you out of this childish energy so you can have your person, a possible empress, somebody that you're meant to have happiness and abundance with. You know what I'm saying? Spirit saying there's a message and I need to sit here and, and, and take a second to get it out because there's something more. I pick this up and my whole body goes up in like heat. It's like somebody saying, please, son, listen. I know. I know. 
these eyes are staring at me and these eyes are staring at you this may be this ancestor's last attempt at trying to help you and being told yes time is running out you only have so much longer It's like they're almost begging you to just open your freaking eyes. If she passes this last challenge, it's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back and that tower is going to fall. It's going to be the last gust of wind that sets this tower coming crumbling down. It's going to start off slow. No, it's going to land flat. It's going to just explode and crumble. Be mindful. Remember, the Most High is watching. Intuitive. Intuitive messages were meant for you. <sighs> what else, Spirit? There are things we're going towards that need strength and endurance conditioning somebody's mind is being cleaned up and cleared of self-confidence issues to just be themselves is a challenge daily to accept who they are and how they just how they are every day is a challenge the thing is is somebody's standing strong I feel like it's this one. She's standing there with her arms on her hips, with her cape flying in, in the breeze, and she's just like, I've conquered this. I've got this. But we're all human, and things can sometimes, you know, whatever. But she always realizes and picks, if she trips, she picks herself back up again, and she gets her gets where she needs to be, and she stands there just like this, and she does what she needs to do and drives forward and she doesn't miss a beat if she passes this next challenge and finishes what she started this time I'm being shown for the f first time or this first time you will see can I just you want me to just be as blunt as that as bold as that yes the wrath that this spirit team may very well have for you, masculine. Knowing that you're still being sneaky and conniving behind her back, even in separation. I don't think you're going to listen. I'm being told your ego trip is about to send you face going down. I'm seeing somebody on a roller coaster that's just going straight down into a dark hole. And he's screaming and it's the sound is echoing and it's just on this massive roller coaster ride. And he may end up upside down on his head in a dark pit somewhere. alone and crying really feeling alone and at that point the only comfort you're going to have is knowing that you're on your own and you are you have your freedom to do whatever you want at this point in your dark hole that you created for yourself the loneliness will be real the ego death will have happened and you base i feel like somebody's going to go into hermit it's like solitude hermit mode and it's going to be like everything he ever dreaded for himself 
everything he's working his ass off to prevent may very well end up being coming to fruitation for him because he may very well be thinking that for his other half. Because even in separation, he doesn't want to see her succeed. He wants to see her in that empress upside uh, in reverse kind of energy. Yeah, like I'm I wanted to see exactly what the book said on uh the Empress in Reverse. He wants to have her in a poverty mindset that she can't do it without him. She he doesn't want her to get her own bag. He wants her to need him financially. He wants her to not have any boundaries or whatever the boundaries are that are unhealthy in in her life. She he just wants to see her on her on her ass. He wants to see her in unhealthy behaviors. Like, we'll just say a, a, somebody trying to turn a vegetarian for that's being vegetarian for health reasons into a carnivore and just feeding her red meat, you know, because he wants to see her just, I don't know, blow up like a balloon or whatever it is that happens when she eats red meat. It may just be the cholesterol. It may be whatever. But I'm, that, that's what I'm being shown is somebody being a vegetarian and him handing her like bacon and, and red meat and pushing it on her because he doesn't want to see her doing better for herself. I can totally see that. I can totally see him wanting to see her, you know, 300 pounds and miserable and hiding in her house and, and just, you know, hiding from the world. Instead of out in the sunshine, exercising and walking around and being happy, listening to music and eating healthy foods and going to the gym and taking spiritual baths or a bath and doing yoga and whatever meditation and all the happy things, being outside, maybe fishing. I don't know. This is just happy things that I'm picking up on. Whatever this woman likes to do, riding horses or drawing or singing or going and playing pool and singing karaoke and uh, I don't know, watering plants and maybe playing chess or checkers, something, anything. It could be anything. He would much rather see her locked in her room, talking to him, begging him for his attention, than going out and striving to be the best version of herself. That's what he wants. There is somebody here, a soulmate. A soulmate that wants her and loves her and wants all of her love and attention it's that song give me all your love and all your hugs and kisses too yeah that's this one over here that's trying to get their shit in a pile trying to become strong trying to find their motivation and diligence in themselves their drive and their discipline trying to get them their shit in a pile so that they can be the what they need to be to come in and come in correct Yep. This here is a very interesting reading. Not what I was expecting. I don't know what I, I don't come in expecting anything anymore. I just sit down with spirit and spirit guides me. And this is what came out this time. I, I really don't know why I can't get under an hour, but it is what it is. The message needs to come out and I do what spirit tells me to do. So you know, I do this for my own enjoyment. I do this to help as many people as possible. I don't, I, I'm not really worried about, you know, reader, uh, viewers and all of that. I just want people who need to get the message here to hear the message. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously you're here for a reason. You're getting something out of my readings. And I'm hoping that, you know, if you are the divine feminine, I mean, the majority of people who watch my, sh my channel are women. If you are a woman and this is your story, this is what your twins do and they're a conniving little turd that needs an ass whooping by spirit and you have somebody that you that is working on themselves to come towards you the spirit team is trying to help your your other half do the work before it's too damn late even if it's just to get closure before it's too damn late 
the thing is, is he's hard-headed. And very, there is a lot of narcissistic tendencies here. But you will come out on top, Divine Feminine, if you keep forging forward. You have a lot of good in you, Divine Feminine. There's a lot of light. And yes, it's, there are times when it's hard. It's There are times when it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to deal with schmucks like this. And that's okay because you can handle it. Spirit knows you can handle it. Spirit knows he's given you the strength, the inner strength, to be able to forge forward and be the passionate person that you're meant to be. Okay? Spirit knows where your heart is. Spirit knows everything about you. And Spirit will continue, Spirit will continue to guide you. As you continue to call your power back from people that don't deserve it, Spirit will be there for you. Make sure to be grateful. Sing your praises. Count your blessings. Continue to be the, the, the wonderful divine feminine that you are. There is somebody that there is a good. See, thank you, Spirit. There is somebody that's meant for you that's going to bring you happiness. It takes you going down this parallel path that's going to. So remember how I was saying this is this is you, divine feminine. This is your this is your soulmate, the one that will bring you all the hearts and rainbows. Yeah, this one. This one here has some things he needs to do. Okay, you are this one right here. This is the the path spirit wants you on right now to get to where you need to go. You need to be on this path straight and narrow for some time to get what you need to get done done and that way when these two paths finally are on the same level that's funny how it's the divine red and blue like this divine feminine divine masculine anyway when you two are finally at a point to where you guys could have your paths collide again or for the first time or whatever at that point, you are going to have the final stage. It'll be the final stage to your complete wish fulfillment. You will have everything in your life that you were destined for, and then some. There are things that you are destined for that you don't even know about yet. There are things that you haven't even been. Spirit hasn't even let you in on yet. Ideas and friends and people that are going to come in and whisk you away into a beautiful life even more beautiful than what you have right now and you may have a pretty cool life you know what i'm saying but it's going to just get better so keep on this path keep these people in your heart continue to forgive even when you don't want to divine feminine it's all worth it anything further no nope. thank you holy spirit thank you angels thank you ancestors and loved ones and spirit guides who have helped me through this reading thank you for coming through i love and appreciate all of you i close this reading collective as i continue through school and i you know i've pulled back a lot on this channel and there's not many people that watch all my readings all the way through and i'm grateful for those of you that will see this last bitty bit of message I want you to understand something. I love you very much. And I'm proud of each and every one of you that uh, that watches. I'm proud of each and every one of you. I feel your energy. I know the ones that are working hard on themselves. I know the ones that want to see balance come to into fruitation for them and those around them. I know when people want to forgive and just release burdens. I, I'm proud of you for standing in your power, setting boundaries and staying there. I'm proud of you. You can keep doing it. You can do anything. I believe in you. I believe in you. And for those of you that are stuck in these this toxic low vibrational energy, I love you too. I truly do. My heart is big enough to love everybody, and it does. And I want you to understand that life is not meant to come crumbling down around you. You've got free will, and you're the captain of your own ship. So if you're sailing it right into that iceberg... And you'd rather be on the Titanic than a, you know, whatever it is, ship that's that sails even to this day. We'll just use my ship. If you want to be on the Titanic, be on the Titanic. But if you want to be on the USS Ronald Reagan and you want to sail strong and, and be a command ship, then do what you do. 
If you want to be a force to be reckoned with, be that force. If you don't and you just want to sink and, and, and burn out, do what you do. Either way, Gigi loves you. Okay? So please, may spirit be with you. St work on yourselves. Love yourselves. Stay true to yourselves. St stand in your boundaries. And know that I will be here as long as spirit allows to guide, uh, guide you through whatever it is that I pick up on to help you. Okay? I hope you are well. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Good night.